Hey, what's going on guys? Sims of Skater here bringing you another episode of Let's Play Minecraft and this week we are going to be building a automatic boat launcher kind of here over in this village in this pre-world. You can see I got the boat launcher over here, but I had a question is why? I don't know if this is a glitch in Xbox or something, but why are like usually villages built on a sea level or a water border always have houses that are like half built and split open like this, which I find kind of weird. And uh, oh, and all these uh, villagers over here swimming. It's kind of cool. So yeah, before we get started, um, actually the sun just set. So let's grab a bed real quick while we're in creative, and take a nap. So we can build in the light time. So I'll go to sleep real quick, and we're waiting and we're up. Okay, and I don't know why it's still here. So I'm gonna delete it because I was just testing stuff. So what I got over here is this mechanism thing and basically what this does is your boat sits up here and then you press this button to auto okay, if i can get to the button g's <laughs> to automatically it flushes your boat out and the boat will land somewhere right here and then what this is the launch thing we press this button and then it will let your water come down from up here and flush your boat out this way and we're going to build something right here that will propel your boat out and it will fly out over there. So let me show you the wiring I got over here and some other stuff. So the button is on the other side of this wall. The redstone runs up here. This repeater is here to re-run uh, to re like run the current so it doesn't run out. The redstone runs up here and splits this way and this way and runs into this inverse redstone thing to this block. So when it's activated, it deactivates this redstone and it deactivates the pistons to let the water go. Same thing on this side, so we'll cover that up real quick, and I know in the Xbox mine, or not the Xbox, the PC Minecraft, you can put dispensers in a boat, but if you see right, or boats in a dispenser, but if we do that in Xbox, which I'll just put a piston down, um, or this, it just flings the boat out and doesn't automatically throw it out, as you can see right there, so... That doesn't work out. I usually was going to put a dispenser here and have the redstone run up to the dispenser and have the boat flush out and then it flushes out. But that doesn't work, so I can't figure out a way to get... Oh, I lost my boat. I can't figure out a way to get the boat to automatically just, like, refill itself. So for now, we just have to go up and put the boat right here. And then just have to do it every time until they fix it. Or if one of you guys know how to, like, automatically get some boats flowing down in here. And I just lost the boat. Whoops. Um... You can maybe when I go play the battle arena before we do that, you can I can invite you and you can help figure it out. But as you can see right here, the boat flies down and lands right over here and it'll fly and all that good stuff. So now, let me explain this. So right here, this is what you have to build. You have to do like your little platform over here and then you got to go down a level and start putting water down here to flush out into the ocean level. And usually I like to build it one up so the water runs down a little bit so you get a little speed. And it runs into here. But right here where this wall is right here. What you're going to want to do is clear this. And then put your signs on the side walls to stop the water flow from going in. And right down on these middle blocks going this way like this. And it should stop the current like that. And you can just walk right through the signs as the boat will just go right through it. But what this does is basically propel your boat out into the ocean when it hits this and you go flying out. So then we'll put our water going down like this and you see it stops right there. So your boat will fly down when this water pushes it out into this water, get a little speed and then it'll propel out and you're ready to get launched out there. So that's the whole design. Now let's get this launch mechanism going. So what we're going to do is first mark the back of oh, let me get rid of all this stuff i'm not gonna need a dispenser I'm not gonna need a sign i'm gonna need this this and some wood so we're gonna mark the button with the redstone just like that and then find the middle which is right here and build out some just like this and uh crap i can't forget um, I went like, th yes, that's right. Go out like this, and then I put the pistons back here. And then the water will go right back in here. And we'll have these pistons. We have to activate these pistons to make them 
work or to make them activate so the water gets held back. So we're gonna do the little inverse thingy majigger by putting a block down there. Put that like that. And we'll run the redstone down here. And we'll actually just split this block right here. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Run that down, run that down here, and then we'll run it to the redstone. So, oops, forgot to add that wire. Run up here, and then bam. So now if I activate this, it should make them both go out. Cool. All right, so put the water down right now and activate. Make sure it all works. Bam, your water gets flush, and your boat goes. So that's basically it. Now we're going to go up here and place the boat and test this thing out. So, oh, we already have a boat up here from before. Delete. So put the boat right there. Come down here. I mean, you don't even... The reason I've had this up here is I thought it would be automatic to refill, but obviously it's not. So you don't really don't need this whole, like, automatic boat thing. You can't just put your boat down right in the middle. But, uh, yeah, that's why I want to figure out how to make this thing automatic so you don't have to redo it. And what did I just do? Two boats now. So we'll sit in this. Launch. And we shall fly out into the ocean. And we're getting propelled. So as you can see... We're going a pretty far ways. Um, wait until we stop. And basically... Okay, why am I splitting boats? Oh, it was right here. So basically, you're getting this far of a head start from your dock, and you're getting a little boost, and then you can just fly over here and go to wherever the heck you want to go. So that's the kind of cool part. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to make it all look pretty, and then I'll come back, and I got a few more things to say about this. And all that stuff so I will be right back all right so we're back here and I did some nice little redesigning as you can see I got this whole back way covered up and I put in this little odd uh, like importing dock thing in so you can see you walk up here you're right up in here and as I said this would be awesome if it was fully automatic but I can't figure out a way to make these boats flow automatically so we have to go up here and put this in which isn't totally necessary unless one of you guys can help me out and figure out how to get these things to automatically reload so I can just press the set. What? No, whoopsies. <laughs> Something happened. There we go. Get the boat to flow down here. And usually we can just go ahead and place a boat right here if we don't do that, which I'm just about to do because I didn't make it all the way. Fail, but uh, whatever. So we get in the boat, press the launch button, have the water flow. We'll go down here and we will start to propel and fly like an awesome. Hey, look, a wolf. Cool. So what I did... Um, and that's it. Now, forget you, Wolf. We'll just go back over here if I can turn around. There we go. Um, you can see the dock right here, but I added a nice little, if you're coming back in here to this village of randomness, you can come right through here. And I dug a nice little, uh, whoopsies. Got a nice, okay, I can't get in. <laughs> Got a nice current going down, so it sucks you in. You can, okay, I'm not gonna do that. You can hop out of the boat, and just like that. And you can stay in, and... I, got, I should probably figure out a way to get your boat secure in here. Put some like pistons down. You can press a button and it'll secure your boat. Which actually isn't that hard to do. Actually, I'm going to do that, right? Nah, eh. No, I'm not going to do that. Wasting time. So, let's delete that. No, whatever. No, why is this here? It's supposed to be a block. There. Okay. So, yeah, and then you can come out here and come out into the village of nothingness as of now. So, uh, yeah, that's... Hopefully, I found that pretty cool, entertaining, and... Yeah, that's it. That's the automatic, or not automatic, because it's not fully automatic. That's a cool boat launcher made of water. Totally doable. You can do it. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, as always. And I'm Sister Skater, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.